From newstalkzb.co.nz. It's Mike Hosking. How's the pre-season, Conrad? Uh, yeah, for me it hasn't been going too long. Uh, I've only been back uh, just over a week, but uh, the boys, I, I know the team's been back a lot longer and um, it's been pretty hard, probably the hardest I've had in a, a long time by all accounts. Are you fit or not? I'm, I'm uh, feeling good, yeah. It's, uh, I've just had an extended um, break, but yeah, I'm not far, far off playing. And how's your t- pre-season going, Tom? Yeah, it's been going pretty well so far. We're two from two, so it's always... Um, Who have you played? Just remind us. I've played the Hurricanes. Oh, the Hurricanes have yes, you? Yes, we have. <laughs> and and how, did you, how, how did you go against the Hurricanes? Uh, yeah, it was actually pretty close to the end. I think it was about 19-8, so yeah, it was another good one, but yeah, it was a bit closer. You, you, beat them. you beat them, basically. Yeah, we did. Did you, see, <laughs> did you see anything in the Hurricanes to be worried about for the season? Um, definitely. I thought oh. that was, it was a bit tougher, but... Um, but obviously, Conroy wasn't there, but um, no, they certainly... It was a good game at Mangatanoka. It was always a bit fun playing there, so... What's it like training at this time of year? Um, oh, it's exciting, really. I mean, we've got the season so close now, so we've got one more pre-season game to go, and then it's, it's all go. It's so. not too hot. Well, it's not in Christchurch, anyway, so... No, oh, fair enough, too. <laughs> now, where have you been? You've been backpacking all over the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, a bit like that. Um, yeah, through South America and then uh, up to the States and... Europe and then Africa, so yeah. Did, did you literally backpack? Nah, well we did the first um, in South America we did and then we had um, friends and family mostly to, to stay with uh, after that. And so the backpack is just a PR spin, we, we basically had, you had a luxury had a holiday. Backpack on our back, so that was about <laughs> it, yeah. And so what was the best part, where did you see that you loved? Uh, oh, I, mean, I, I enjoyed the spots where we were bit off the beaten track so South America for me was pretty cool Bolivia and Peru and then uh, sort of week and a half we had in Kenya was uh, wow it was good for you know there was good and bad things you see there I, I was going to say did you get in any trouble um, no we, everything went pretty well but um, I, I think just more what we saw in Kenya it was you know we did have uh, worked at a school for a week and saw some pretty uh, interesting things really? the way they live and uh yeah, that, that was a bit of an eye-opening experience for us both, but something, you know... Was do, do, do they know who you are? No, not at all. Couldn't um, care less? Couldn't care less. It that was, must be refreshing. It was very refreshing. Um, and But surprisingly, whenever you, you, know, you tell them you're a New Zealander, wherever we were, and they surprising how many knew about the Rugby World Cup and would congratulate the, the team, not knowing I was a player or anything, just uh, New Zealand on, on winning the Rugby World Cup, and it was very satisfying to hear. Good, good to hear it. Is there still a buzz, by the way? There's still a sort of a sense when you wander around this country that, you know, we're still on a high from the World Cup, that it's still magical? and Yeah, for sure. It's still still getting congratulated, and uh, which is a little bit crazy. But, um, yeah, I, I think everyone... It was just such a, you know, special two months, and it's probably going to linger around for a while. Good. What about the Crusaders? Where are you guys at? I mean, you've got um, so much to think about outside of the rugby, haven't you? New grounds, travel, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah, I suppose... Um yeah, it's a little bit different to last year. I suppose we've got something to look forward to. We've got that home ground um, coming up, so I think that's been around, around four. So that's something to look forward to, and I know the boys are, are keen to get get back at home. Are they going to get it done in time? I hope so. But um, from all, all accounts, it's um, yeah, it's on track, so that's positive. Good. What about the um, deserters out of your side, the people who ran ran from the hurricanes who didn't want to stay? I mean, what, what you know, you'll be <laughs> looking you. <laughs> You'll be looking forward to meeting them on the field, won't you? Yeah, there, there's going to be some interesting matchups, particularly when we come up here, um, play the Blues. But I, I think we've, you know, as a group, we've sort of moved on, and uh, it's a pretty, pretty new group. It's fair to say, um, you know, a few faces I, I'm not, I wasn't too familiar with last week when I came in. But you know, what, what I've seen is, is pretty positive, and you know, I'm pretty excited about a different challenge. Um, you know, new group, and obviously, uh, you know, it'll be. A different season than what we've had the last few years, that's for sure. I come from Canterbury, of course, so so right. the Crusaders win again. Yes. Where will you come apart from that? <laughs> <laughs> you asked me for prediction. I don't know. Well, considering <clears throat> most people are picking will be in the bottom two or three, I'll, all I'll say is we'll be uh, better than that. Good on you. So you'll be like third last. No, I think we'll surprise a few people, but I enjoy the lack of expectation. Good on you. Nice to see you both, and I wish you all the best for the season. Thanks, Mike.